guys. Um, I don't know if I'm really gonna be able to make a video today. Um, I'm like really sick right now. I went to the doctor yesterday. Um, they uh, they should be calling calling back with my lab results today, sometime this morning. Um, so I don't I don't know if I'm gonna be able to put up. Um, a new video besides really this, so. You have Stargate fever. Um, so yeah, I'm not actually sick. I am, however, really excited for Season 10 of Stargate SG-1 and Season 3 of Stargate Atlantis. Um, sorry I didn't get this video up earlier. It was supposed to go up yesterday, but I spent the whole day editing the rest of the video. And then to top it all off, my sister's birthday is tomorrow, but it's Monday, and I'm in, I'm in class. start my classes tomorrow, and both my parents are at work. So we kind of just moved back to the day for that uh, to today. I did want the majority of this video to be mainly about Stargate. Show you guys just exactly how excited I am. But this next few minutes are going to be uh, basic rants from uh, things that I've noticed in the past week or so. First of all, I'd like to discuss recently featured videos on YouTube. Um, I don't know if someone hacked into the YouTube system and figured out how to uh, feature different videos. But the recent features on YouTube are absolutely horrible. Sliced. This video is about 20 seconds long. It's probably one of the worst stop motion picture animation videos I've ever seen. I haven't watched the Barracuda or the Car Hop, but then I, I did watch You Can't Help But Watch. Let's see, it says, this is the most boring ever, but you will watch. Yeah, I did watch, and it was extremely boring, and I don't know why people featured it. If a video is boring, why would you want to feature it? That doesn't make any sense. YouTube people are crazy. Then the next one, I'm not going to even attempt to read that because that's in a different language. I didn't understand anything he was saying. And I don't know what he was wearing, but it was really weird. Onion Man. Onion Man? Okay. And next is the Flying Manta Ray. This one definitely deserved to be featured. I actually got a magazine in the mail few days before it was featured and it had it on the cover and right here it's got an 11 foot wingspan um, but I thought what I thought was interesting was the the price um, it's five hundred dollars that's a lot of money this uh... there's something below it it says the hydro foil water scooter picture of it right there so that allows you to skim across the water simply by hopping gently up and down, propelling you as fast as 17 miles per hour. And then, and then they felt the need to add, in parentheses, totally unrelated to this topic, more than four times faster than some of the world champion freestyle swimming speeds. Well, I would hope that if you're using something for transportation, it can transport you a little bit faster than a swimmer can swim. I mean... Oh, I have email. Ooh, filmmaker one two five. That uh, would be Brian. Hey Chris, I need an opinion on something. Which do you prefer, Star? Are you actually asking me this? I mean, seriously, do you, do you have to ask anybody? First of all, um, what's my screen name? In case you forgot, Jedi Master Chris, I mean, Jedi Master Chris, not Trekkie Master Chris or Trekkie Chris or whatever Trekkies call themselves, because I am most definitely not a Trekkie. I've never seen Star Trek ever, and I will never see Star Trek ever. I don't like Star Trek. So, the answer to your question: Star Wars. Okay, back to uh, back to this. It has a voice-activated R2-D2 in it. It's a motorized replica of the headstrong droid from Star Wars. 
It responds to voice commands and navigates rooms and halls. Probably not stairs, though. R2 obeys more than 40 voice commands, such as turn around, move forward two units. Two units? What is that? What? Two, two units. He plays games like tag, uses an infrared sensor to search for people in a room. His sensor helps him follow behind you. Or it can be set to detect motion that sounds on it, and he sounds an alarm when a secured area is invaded. R2's lights, swivel dome top, and distinctive happy and sad sounds faithfully mimic the real thing, right down to his occasional bad mood. A simple command of R2, behave yourself, snaps him out of it. R2 can also reply sounds and dialogue from Star Wars movies, answer yes or no questions, and dance while playing the, the famed cantina music. $120. It's pretty awesome. Okay. Um, I was thinking, I'm not sure if I'm going to do this yet, depends on what comments I get back. I got to know a few of my fellow Stargate fans, um, and a lot of them, a lot of them don't have anybody to watch the shows with. Most of them watch the show by themselves. Uh, so, I came up with an idea, I'm not sure if I'm going to do this yet, because it depends on, on where I am Friday night, but I was thinking about setting up the webcam, uh, filming uh, Madeline and I watching uh, the premiere of Stargate and Atlantis, and then that way you guys can turn on your computers and you can watch it with us. Okay, I'll do it through Stickam. I'll give you guys a link to the side somewhere... Uh, go ahead and leave me your comment about that idea. I don't know if anyone's going to be interested at all. I might just be filming it for no reason. So go ahead and leave me your comment if you're interested in that. Uh, the rest of the video is stuff that I filmed at Michael's uh, last week before we filmed episode 8. Madeline and I went to Michael's and we brought a camera with me, or with us, brought a camera with us. Um, we were searching for stuff for the Stargate, basically. At the end of it, I show you my Stargate DVD collection, which most likely doesn't look like yours. Uh, you'll see why. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, why don't you uh, tell everyone on uh, YouTube a little bit about yourself? Um, my name's Madeline. I'm Chris's best friend. Yes. I don't like being filmed by driving. <laughs> I like sci fi and I'm obsessed with fantasy. I love music. I like this music. <laughs> That is a band called Gaelic Storm. And if you remember the movie Titanic, um, they were cast as a stereo band, but they're actually a band. I thought that was cool. I like a lot of Celtic music. I'm weird. I know. But where would the world be without weird people? I mean, really. Look at Kristen. I'm an artist, sort of. I'm going to be majoring in art slash biology. Once I get to college. You're gonna be in college forever. Bite me. Probably even longer than me. Bite me. <laughs> we are going to Michael's because Kristen wants to get more stuff for the Stargate, which I am helping her build. It was done in my garage most of the time. That is of the devil. Right there. Most of the stuff will be cut. I can assure you of that. I'm going to do an illegal thing, but there's no other cars. That's Madeline's favorite car. And there's Chick-fil-A. That is like heaven. Yeah, it's, it's really oh, waiting weird. for the pedestrians to cross the street. If you hit them, you get about 500 points. Yeah. No. Depends on even, what injuries they get. It's even more points if they're in one of those um, motorized wheelchairs. <laughs> they're a freak. So here we are. We are at Michael's, getting some stuff for the Stargate. Oh, Michael's sense? paper twist. 99 cents, but it says 66. Why aren't you filming yourself? Because I can't really. I can. And my hair is really messed up. I gotta fix my hair. It's a really expensive way to fix your hair. Get a camera. Do, you, do we know where we're going? Draw it in the tub. Madeline, we're not here to get fantasy puzzles. That's pretty. Isn't that pretty? I don't know. We'll don't see know. what the, what comments we get. Okay. The question of the day is: Is this pretty? Dumbo. What is that? Is that some? Oh, I where? thought that was right there. I thought that was like a buffalo. I lost Madeline. Madeline thinks she can hide from me. <laughs> this is Madeline's section. This is not what we're here for. We're wasting our uh, 
precious Stargate time, hey, looking at paintbrushes. Do you want to get brushes for me to paint the chevron? You have enough. You have enough brushes. No, I don't. Yes, you, you do. You never have enough brushes. We're here for string. Nine ninety nine. Do you have related to marijuana? Madeline, did I ever tell you how tall you are? Oh yeah, we finally found what we want. How thick can does this stuff get? Well, I've got some at home that's like that thick. So you're telling me we might have come to Michael's for no reason? We're not using pipe cleaners. I'm not having fuzzy feathers on my Stargate. Oh. Alright, are we gonna go to your house and pick that stuff up? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Open my door! Ah. Oops. So we came all the way to Michael's to realize that what we're looking for is in Madeline's car. <laughs> Not necessarily, there might still and be it's free in my house. Okay, so we just finished up at Michael's realizing that um, there's nothing there that we really want. So we're going to head over to Madeline's bubble. We're going to head over to her bubble and see if we can uh, figure out if she has what we need. I hate it when people you turn. I do. Is it annoying? Yes. Unacceptable. What? Yellow light. Left turn yield on green. As, oppo as opposed to red. I just realized. What? We had, um, we had you tell everyone about yourself when I haven't even told them about myself. <laughs> Technically yet. <laughs> Not in a speech anyway. Hi, Green Arrow! Donald's! It's also of the devil! Don't go there. Red light. Green light! What's your greatest fear, Madeline? Christo. You are. And we are here at Madeline's Bubble. Hopefully you guys weren't paying attention to the streets, because then you can find our house. Here's our garage where uh, Stargate was born. Or our Stargate was born. She still has a friend of freaking cats! We're friends! Madeline has cats, I have dogs. I have a dog. Or I, have, I have a dog, Madeline has a dog. She has cats, and I have turtles. Madeline lives in a zoo. Fight me! <laughs> Keep your, your Stargate rope. In the same room as you do your uh, cat food. I can't find it. Please tell me you have it, Madeline. I'm gonna scream. The baby kitty cat. The baby kitty. That's Evie, named after Evelyn slash Evie from the Mummy. Her real name is Kara from. Uh, is not. Yes, her real name is not. Kara from Battlestar Galactica. They just don't want to admit it. It is not, Kristen. It's or Lori, depending on what mood you're in. We're leaving Madeline's bubble. There's her dog. Open my door! Madeline! Hey! Hey! Hey, that is so mean! She drove off without me. She drove off without me. I don't know how she's going to get back into my house or where she's going to go, but she drove off without me. It's really mean. Let's go see if we can find her. She's going to come back. Watch. She's going to circle around. And look, there she is. Told you. There's Madeline. See, I didn't even have to walk any. See if the door's open now. Oh, the door's open. That was mean. That was really mean. Like, you're never mean. Like, on a scale of 1 to 10, on a scale of 1 to 10, like, meanness, it's probably like a 10,000. Oh, really? And what is teaching your mother the nickname that she hates that you gave her? Or something like that. What? 
teaching my mother the nickname that you gave me that I hated that you got me to go by now. Did anyone understand that? Because <laughs> I didn't. I, I'll just I'll just pretend. Okay. Um, that's not so mean. That's not no. At like negative five. Negative. Five. I'll put on my seatbelt. Madeline's speeding. Heading over back to my bubble. Hopefully you guys won't uh, recognize any of the street signs because then you know where I live. Okay, really so here we are at my house. You guys will probably recognize this if you guys watched me Potter. And there's SOS. And there's my mom. I actually Okay. This is my collection of DVDs. I recorded them all myself. Each one of these DVDs uh, took me about 8 hours and 42 minutes to complete. That uh, I added all of that up and that equals about 850 hours of editing and recording. That's a lot. Crazy. Kristen was crazy once. They put her in a room. A round room. With CDs. Round CDs. Okay. A few of my uh, DVDs are missing because my DVD player decided to break. I need to get it fixed. Stargate the movie. Stargate SG-1 Season 1 Volume 1. And then it continues on down. Season 1. Season 2. Season 3. This reminds me of Kung Fu Hustle. Let's have Season 9 of Stargate Volume 1. Volume 2. Which has not been released yet. I feel very awesome. I also have season two of Atlantis, which has not been released yet. And then Honestly, I have season two of Battlestar Galactica, which has, has not been released yet. Season two. Each, each of them has three episodes on them. Uh, about two hours and six minutes each. So it's basically like a full feature film, each DVD. And then these ones down here, oh look, it's my toes. These ones down here are my extra copies. I have an extra copy of, for some reason, I made an extra copy of uh, Stargate Atlantis Season 2 Volume 4. Uh, Stargate, which that one hasn't been released yet, Stargate uh, Season 5 Season Finale. And then I have an up, an extra DVD of Battlestar Galactica Pegasus, which was the 2.0 finale. And I will be giving those away to the person who makes the nicest and best comment on Aww. this video. Or I could just give them to Madeline. One of the two. You guys leave me your comments and then I'll decide. Well, so. I have the best comments anyway. Well, then I'll, have, I'll be forced to give it to you. There's my DVDs pretty awesome okay the end so I hope you guys enjoyed that video don't forget to leave me your comment about the uh, webcam idea for this Friday um, so yeah All right I'll see you guys later bye